Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are at Racket Sports Schiedam with a new court. I don't know if you saw it. it. Looks amazing. Two courts with this nice stage. Two times that you can walk out of the court. Amazing. We're going to speak about the most overlooked item aspect of balance and that's head balance. And why you should improve your head balance, I will explain in this video. You like it? Good match. Ladies and gentlemen, because it's December, I want to give something back to you. So in our shop, Racket Team, if you buy a tactical paddle racket, you will get the official Otro Nivel t-shirt for free, which is worth of 40 euros. So buy a tactical and get one for free. And if you buy from racketteam.com, you have the chance to also win a limited edition tactical power racket. How limited? There's only one of them. I made this video especially for the players that make a lot of miss hits. Uh, they don't hit the ball right on the racket. People that make a lot of unforced errors. Uh, people with problems in their neck. Uh, players that would like to improve their control when they're playing faster. And for players that are feeling off balance a little bit. So if this is about you, you should watch the video. This video is especially about two topics. The head balance is for the balance, but also for the control. And we're going to start with the balance of our body. And the head is the head of the balance. So it all starts with the head. Many players start from the bottom up, from, from the feet. But if your head is in the right place, uh, balance wise, you will actually have the feet also in a better place. Um, so if you, for instance, would like to have way better volleys than you want to have now, the head balance is going to massively improve your volley. So let's say I'm at the net and I'm here, I'm forwards. So the moment I'm going to get a volley, it is way easier for me to step in and hit. The moment I might be down to the ground, what a lot of coaches say, be low to the ground, but my head is not really forwards, I might up hitting the ball late or end up blocking because I'm not going into the ball with my body weight. So if my body weight is into the ball, I will have a way better volley. So what you should do is to have the, the head in front of the feet. You don't even have to bend your knees uh, so much because this not, doesn't make any sense. So if I'm low, but my head is still here, I'm still going to be late. So when I want to have a good volley, I want to tilt my head forwards. And the moment I block, I can block with my head with the ball. And also you can see that I am going with the ball because my head is in front of my feet. So you can clearly see that if you have a, if you have a good volley, your head is in front of the feet. And I'm bending my knees a little bit, but most of the time I'm falling a little bit into the ball. So let's say I'm, I'm like this, and when I volley, I can still be quite early. If I can easily step through the ball if I'm more forwards. So now I can respond and I can move into the ball. And I can be more attacking. The moment I'm here, I might end up floating the volley. So I don't want to be hitting the net. So that's a big difference. Let's go to defense. So it's the same in defense that your head needs to be in front. So if I'm ready waiting for the return and my head is in front of my feet, I have way more balance. But the moment I'm going to move back, I still want to be in front of my feet. But now, my body is rotated, so this is changing. So the moment my head is always with my feet. So it's not that my head is here. When I rotate my, my feet, my head will remain in front, but that's changing now because now I'm sideways and I'm still in front of my feet. The moment I'm here, I'm gonna end up making mistakes. So if I get the ball, So if I have to move back, I'm still going with my head in front of the feet. 
so I can hit the ball. If my head will remain here, I don't have a lot of control and it looks weird, which you don't want. And if I go back and my head might be too much here, I'm gonna play up too much. If I'm moving backwards with my head, you can already see that I'm not in balance anymore. And I want the head as close to the ball as possible to have the most control. So this is easier. Okay, uh, move on to the bandeja. So if you want to attack better and want to improve when you're hitting faster with the bandeja and the vibra, this is for you. So what I did before, and German Schaefer changed this for me, is that my head was in front of my foot, but in the wrong direction. So if you play a good vibra, your feet are more sideways. And my head was always in front. So I was playing this and then I hit the net too often because my head is forwards instead of with my feet. So what Germán changed, what made a difference is that my head was sideways and then I was hitting the ball out, which was a big improvement. <laughs> no, then I'm here and I have much more control because my head is in front of the feet again. This could be a bit, bit, bit better. Uh, and I had way more control uh, because my head is closer to the ball. So I know better what the timing is. So before I was here, I was hitting too much with my wrist because the, my head action is too far from my contact point. And I cannot really see the ball that well. So if my head is forward hitting here, it's very complicated. So what you should do is to have both eyes on the ball and then hit the ball. Your, con your control will improve a lot and you will not do so many miss hits. Yeah, so this is a much better control. Yeah, so now my head was more sideways instead of towards the net, which for me was the most important thing about my um, Fibra. So with the smash, if you do kick smash or flat smash, it is a difference because with the flat smash, you want to move a little bit forwards with the kick smash, you want to stay a little bit more here with your head because you want to go vertical and also um, the balance of your head. So this is where we're gonna make an overlap is that you should look longer on where you hit the ball with the racket. So this is where the control starts. This is also in my smash video. You can watch it here. Um, with the smash video, I also said something about the head balance. And now I'm going to say something uh, about the head balance when you're hitting all shots in paddle. So if I'm playing the flat smash, my head is slightly forwards because then I'm into the ball. If I play the kick smash, I'm more back because then I can play the ball more up in a vertical way. And my head is also looking more to the sky. This is where the neck problem starts. Is the moment you start to hit and you look is the moment you're gonna make a mistake. So if you are somebody that hits the net a lot with your smash, you probably go there. So if you want to have a good kick, you want to stay here because the ball ends up being higher. So the, how good you can have your head balance will dictate where the ball is going to be. So if you are playing a forehand and you do this, you're gonna make a lot of miss hits because you don't see where the ball hits. So I'll do two examples with ball. Yeah, so if I look too soon, I'm going to play the ball in the net. So even though with the flat smash, I want to look longer at the contact point. And I have a lot more control. So also with kick, I bring the ball down too soon and I'm not playing the ball up anymore. <laughs> if I'm playing a forehand, what I don't want to do is this. I will have pain in my neck and I don't have a lot of control. So if the ball is coming, I want to watch the ball, watch the ball and when it's here, and then I go to the other side. So after my swing is entirely finished, I also, uh, then I want to look to the other side. This is the reason you might be overturning because you're looking at the contact point too soon. So maybe you're here and you're playing too fast because you want to look at the result of the ball too, too fast or too early. So you need to finish your swing and then you can look to the other side of the court.
to have the best possible balance. And if you're playing slow, your head will not be so fast. So when you play slow, it's not gonna be a, much of an issue. But the moment you want to finish the shot, you are going to do this. So next time you're on the court, think of this. Look longer at the contact point, so play fast if you want. Play your faster shots, but you should play, watch, then go. So if you accelerate, watch the contact point slightly longer than normal and your control will increase a lot and you will still be able to, to have a lot of power. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you liked this video on a very specific kind of aspect. It's not a super long video. Uh, we did not have so much time uh, because our daughter is born, which is now two weeks old. Uh, so we didn't slept so long. So we're gonna make longer videos again, but uh, yeah, for now, this is the end of the video and uh, see you next Monday. Hasta luego, ciao.